Greetings, friends. Welcome to day 20 of Through the Scriptures with Stephen. 20 devotionals. That's some pretty good headway. I want to thank you to all of you who have viewed these videos, liked, commented, and shared. Really appreciate your support. Let's continue with that, and we'll see how long this, thing, how long this strand goes. Today, I would like to talk to you about fear. What are some things you may think of when you think of those who oppose fear? Perhaps you think of superheroes. You got Superman, you know, Iron Man, Captain America. The thing about those superheroes, though, is that they, with the exception of Iron Man, they all have superpowers that comes from within themselves. So it's easily natural for those people to be more brave because they already have superpowers on their own things. No matter what happens, unless it's like Superman Kryptonite or something like that, they're going to have their powers because it's who they are. They can't be taken away unless there's some external force happening to them. However, what about that one superhero who doesn't have any powers on his own, but is only by his intellect and the things he produces from that? Well, too, there's Iron Man, and there's my personal favorite, Batman. You see, the thing about Batman is that the thing that he fears most is in his name. Tony Stark, he's not afraid of iron. He's not afraid of those machines, as far as I know. But Batman, he's actually afraid of bats. If you'd see in the first movie of the series, Dark Knight, he actually went into the cave and stayed amidst his fear. He literally stayed in the presence of bats to help him cope with Fear, hence the name Batman. Now, what about you? How do you deal with your fears? Perhaps you often try and want to run away and hide, much like the Israelites did when they were facing Goliath. Perhaps you try and distract yourself with something, be it a drink or a drug or a hobby of yours. However, many times when it comes to face to dealing with our fears, we have to face it head on. We can't just run away all the time. We can't just run away and hide. We have to face them head on. In the same way Batman faced his fear by literally staying in the presence of bats. So in order to overcome our own fear, we must go forth and draw a sword against this fear and overcome it by facing it head on. Whether we win or whether we lose, if we're ever going to grow stronger, we must overcome, our, we must face our fears. It's not simply about overcoming the object we're afraid of, but actually overcoming the fear itself. Now, of course, we can only do this through the Holy Spirit by His power. For John 15, Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him will bear much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Another part of it is, is relying upon the promises of God. God said to Joshua in Joshua 9, But go, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. In the last video, I talked about God being with you wherever you go. How in Psalms 139, I believe, they had said, if he goes to Sheol or the depths of the ocean or ascends to a really high place, God is still going to be with him. Jesus told the disciples in Matthew 28, Surely I will be with you always, even until the end of the age. And back to that, to around that time of John 15, Jesus was saying, it's a good thing I leave, because when I leave, I will send the Holy Spirit who will abide with you forever. If you are truly in Christ, through faith in Him that has been evidenced by repentance of your sins, Christ is inside of you. The Almighty God of the universe, the one who sustains every idea of existence by a sheer willpower, is with inside you. It's an ancient being, an ancient deity that dwells with inside you. If any of you like to watch Yu-Gi-Oh, it's much like the Pharaoh who has who dwells with inside Yu-Gi-Oh. When push comes to shove, Yami comes up and takes over Yu-Gi's body and does his will, his power, his way. It is like that. Whenever you're facing your fear head on, you cannot run away, but you must allow the Holy Spirit to work with you, work through you, and overcome you and possess you in such a way that you are willingly giving him control and he operates through you. It's like when Jesus was saying to his disciples, don't be afraid of them for what you stayed on trial for me because I will give you the words that you need to say. The Holy Spirit acting through you. Do not be afraid. The same Spirit that hovered above the waters, 
is the same spirit that resides within you if your faith is in Christ that has been evidenced by your repentance of your sins. So remember, the next time you face your fears, remember Batman and face them. And remember Christ, who will work with you and through you to overcome your fear. And then give glory to God for overcoming your fear, regardless of the outcome of you fighting whatever it is you're afraid of. Stay holy, my friends, as the journey continues. Like, comment, share. Catch you later.